So you have some scraps or branches from your needle boiling the other day. Or maybe you made a Franken tree. Well, there's one more thing you can do with these pine boughs. You can make them into beautiful decorative wreaths. Martha Stewart would be proud of the effort. Because this is going to look nothing like one of hers. I used to think there was some secret branch weaving technique that would make a perfect wreath. But it turns out most wreaths just have a metal wire on the inside. At least, the ones that are good enough to hang up generally have a metal wire on the inside. It's really pretty easy. All you have to do is wrap your boughs around the metal wire and make heavy use of zip ties. It would be better if these were green or black. So grab a few bushy branches and lash them to that coat hanger. And then slap on a bow and you have a wreath. Well, I mean, it's got to be round to be a wreath. Hold on. Hold on, almost. There you go. It's kind of round-ish. Need some duct tape in there. Yeah, it may not look quite as picturesque or perfect as the one you almost bought at the store, but yours is unique, and it smells better, and how much was it again? Oh yeah, that's right, nothing. And speaking of getting something for nothing, have you put up your mistletoe yet? <laughs> you don't have to buy your mistletoe, you can get your kisses for free. And it won't take all afternoon hunting down some dilapidated oak infested with mistletoe. No, you can make it out of pretty much anything. Infested? Oh yeah. Did you know mistletoe is a parasite? Funny how that became associated with smooching. Here's a little hint when you're looking for your mistletoe. Most of it doesn't have those characteristic little white berries on it. And by the way, they're poisonous, like most other white berries. Tangent, the berry rule says that only 10% of white berries are edible. It's about a 50-50 split for red berries and 90% of dark berries are edible. So go for the dark ones when you're caught in the wild at Christmas time. Or any time. And we're back. All you really need to do is go find something that looks like mistletoe. Honestly, do you know what it looks like? And will it even matter when someone's laying a wet juicy one on you? Your eyes are supposed to be closed anyway. It's like a kissing rule. Only weird people kiss with their eyes open. Because most people can't tell what it is, just put a big fat red ribbon on it and stick it up on the ceiling somewhere. The casual observer won't even realize that it's actually a creeping succulent. Or a piece of ivy from your yard. Or even a piece off a eucalyptus tree. You see, they're all green, and that makes them hard to tell apart from the real mistletoe. Gotcha! This isn't real mistletoe either. It's part of our neighbor's hedge. He'll never know the difference, and neither will you. Ah, sweet, sweet deception. It's probably something your relationship's already based on. But I'm sure, as long as it's green and looks convincing, it'll get results. Now you could stand under the look-alike mistletoe all day and see if anyone participates, but if that doesn't work, take the aggressive approach. Put it on the end of a stick and chase everyone down. Let the holiday snogging begin!